Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Quark, and I believe last time we left off we were supposed to meet OEL in Monsoon. Let me double check here. Okay, Monfat and Monsoon. Okay. Mofat. There's our friend. Oh, we're over encumbered. Uh, let's sell some stuff real quick. Awesome, we got a new shield. <laughs> I didn't even think about equipping that one. All right, let's talk to OEL, see if she has anything special first. Well met, friend. Hmm. <clears throat> if anyone got in the way of translating this, anyone got a way to translate this, either Savorian or Soraborian, uh, or if we knew someone extremely old, Mofat. He knew a lot, was still human. That's right, man's ancient. He might know how to translate the old language. If Mofat won't do it for us, we can try the local Soraborian merchant. Although I can't imagine they'd sell any solution to our problem for cheap. I mean, I I have money, so that's not an issue, but... Let's go with Mofat first. I don't know if he'll help us because we haven't finished that mission yet, so... Yeah. Watch yourself out in the marsh. It's never safe out there. Yeah, okay. So he doesn't even have the option to do it. So we'll just go ahead and talk to the Soraborian. And we'll just pay for the information. That shouldn't be too difficult. Excuse me. Greetings, friend. Old language, eh? Actually, I think I do. Explorer recently turned in an ancient peace treaty. That was made about 80 years ago. It was written in the old language on one side in a rough form and the new language on the other. Well, that's special. Yes! Uh... Got a parchment copy right here. Actually, you can use it to translate from one of the old languages to the other. Uh, just around, uh, sure, whatever. Farewell, my friend. Good luck with the translation. Good to see you. Now we're talking. Got what you needed. Wonderful. Let's find out what the tablet has to say. You and Oya. Okay, I didn't see her for a second there. You and OEL sit and begin to translate the tablet. As you work, the truth becomes eerily clear. Uh, a lap must be stopped. People turn from our teachings, believing the power of mankind over the five winds that have guided us since before the first dawn. Uh, they elevate him above his moral, his mortal self. This folly must be brought to heal. Only we have the right to guide humanity, as the winds decree. We cannot stop a lat in his physical physical realm. He is too strong, too well guarded. The high priestess has woven a spell that will deal with him from a distance. Something he cannot defend against. A divine lesson. No mortal uh, can be greater than the winds that blow within us all. We will force his inside wind to turn against him, and put his spirit at war with itself. It will be a scourge against his entire being, as his spiritual agony fills with corruption that will utterly consume. Oh, not, there should have been a pause there, I'm sorry. To forcibly twist someone's self in such a way will require an incredible amount of mana. We will need to divert the entirety of Abraster's ley line to the focal point of the spell. With the very essence of Arai fueling the spell, I foresee only success. He will either die immediately from corruption or he will be turned into a mad, monstrous beast that will rally and destroy. That all will rally and destroy. May the winds of fury guide our effort so that none forget that no human should be considered more than mere flesh at the mercy of the winds of Arai. I don't understand. The Scourge destroyed so much of Arai. Uh, if it was supposed to kill only a lot, how did it, how then how come it didn't? How come it caused the very ground around him to explode and give birth to Scourge Beast and extend a lot to godhood? A lot. Did he cause this calamity on purpose? Did the spell fail? I wish I could just ask him. Ah, then why don't we? Wanted to hear what we discovered anyway. 
Yes. I think we should. I think we have enough to question him about. Going to the altar in the temple. Okay. Well, you could have just teleported me there. We could have done it that way. <sighs> now I have to run there. Maybe I should rest. I feel like we're, I don't know, nearing a pretty good halfway point. I don't know if we're going to be fighting anything. This way? You know, yell, reach out to catch a lot's attention. He responds surprisingly swiftly. Oh. Hmm. I sense great urgency in your hearts. Speak. Elat? What are you? The are you really the man hmm. that was struck by that spell? Would well, you skip the whole thing? Uh, the Cabal of Winds used a spell to kill you, designed to fill your spirit with corruption and turn it against you. And yet you live as God, and the scourge struck Arii instead. Arii? Whatever. Are you really the man that was struck by that spell? Ah, so things are finally made clear to me. The Cabal of Winds was fearful, as I read your mind. I feel sorrow that pushed the Cabal to slay me with such a powerful ritual. Wait, you didn't know? I knew that the Cabal of Winds tried to kill me. I knew why, but I did not know the method. So they used the strength of a ley line to twist Orai's mana into a weapon that turned itself, uh, turned my spirit against itself. That's the last piece of the puzzle I was missing. Hmm. All I knew is that as I traveled through the uh, through the place we all call the Gates of Catharsis, I was struck with a great pain. I withdrew into myself, felt myself be consumed from within by my own spirit. I meditated and stood my ground against the spell. I believe I could, believing I could untie myself again. I refused to die. My mind expanded and escaped its mortal shell, and I was turned into what I am now. Living thought. My body, however, it was tr utterly destroyed, and from it burst a flood of corruption that devastated the lands around me. Hmm. All manner of plants and animals were bathed in corruption, and they became twisted monsters. The scourge beast imbued with one single purpose, my death, but I could no longer die. So they rampaged against all life, desperate to accomplish their purpose. Hmm. If I had known that by surviving their spell it would have unleashed great horror on Arai, then I would have gladly chosen death. But now, knowing what they did, it helps me to understand why I am what I have become. Why I feel like I'm part of a riot itself now. So, the key to divinity is an unbreakable will in the face of death, fueled by an incredible source of mana. I wonder... We should try not to let this knowledge spread too far too quickly. It would rock the very foundations of our AI. Knowledge this dangerous should be revealed very carefully. I understand. Sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> I doubted you, Alad. Do not be sorry. Only from doubts and questions can we learn. And only from learning can we reach understanding. Thank you for unearthing the truth. Now there is something I must put to rest. I require your aid. The priests whom you shared your doubts are gathering in the lotus in the swamp. In a lotus in the swamp. Uh, I sense danger. You should hurry and find them. Uh, help them understand as you have. I'll find them, Alat. I'll set them straight again. Okay, so now we gotta find some people. Uh, this is a good time to rest. We have enough health potions and shit, so we should be good. So let's, 
Let's go to the house, let's rest, and let's find the lotus. Alright, so it's at the northern part of the map. I'm sure it's not that. But it's probably right here. Or right there. Not too sure. Not, not a huge fan of running through these marshes either, just because... Last time I died. But... It's probably that big one right there. Ah, I guess it's a good time to say, guys, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. Uh, my views have been quite low recently, and I know it's basically because this game isn't that popular. And right now no one's looking up stuff on it, just because uh, the DLC is coming out soon, so... Everything I'm doing is old news. I just kind of doing it as a filler in between the DLC and or in between both DLCs. So I really don't want to run over there and be wrong. Ah, fuck it. But yeah, this is just kind of like a filler in between the DLCs. I'm also going to use. Uh, probably the other one, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. The Levant one. Yeah, this doesn't look right. Shoot. Hmm. Yeah, but I'll probably use the Levant story mission storyline uh, to filler in between for the next. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a third DLC. Because they mention another area. But. Yeah, let's get this one figured out. <laughs> Alright, so it's not even a lotus. Um, so you go from here. You go down, across the bridge, and then there's this up path right here, and that's how you get into the Hollow Lotus. That's stupid. Got me running through all these swamps, looking at all these lotuses, and it's not even a freaking lotus. It's a wall. Ugh. This worries me. I'm having trouble convincing them on the own. We need your voice. I like your mask. I like the other mask. I'll kill you for your mask. Hey, it's that one guy. Candle armor. Another one. Are you gathering an army to put us down before we spread this heresy any further? We're not here to hurt you. We're just here to talk. Then stop talking. Uh, the world needs to know about a lot in his connection with the scourge. We may. Sorry, we think he may have caused it himself. Why else would he be, or why else would they originate from the same place he was traveling? Blah, 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 blah. The Scourge spell was designed to destroy a lot. Uh, enemies specifically to kill only him, but refusing to die, he became a living thought, and the Scourge burst from him. Scourge play the cover of This one. You believe the tribes would go that far? Actually, I do believe they might. Fear of change spurs us to do terrible things, but even so, you're saying that a lot's refusal to be killed by the scourge spell itself is what unleashed them. Then why? Why would he protect himself at the expense of everyone else? Yeah, that's a good one. How would he? Uh, how was he supposed to know that by resisting, it would blow up half the region? Have you ever heard of a spell of that kind of power? Elat was a master spellcaster. He should have easily understood the nature of the spell. And what about the vigils? I used to believe they were necessary cruelty, but if a lot in the scourge are connected like this, why couldn't he just drive the beast away? Now the only connection that remains. 
is their desire to kill him, forcing them to flee these individuals. Only thing you do. He may be a god, but his powers are unlimited. The vigils are temporary fixed until he finds a permanent way to discourage self improvement discipline. We need to overcome this here ourselves. We just have to His powers are limited. I can believe that. I suppose, I suppose even as a god, he did come from human spirit. It would explain why he does not see everything all the time, and why he rarely contacts anyone personally. I'm willing to rethink my stance. We've gone from being certain that we were right about a lot's true nature to having doubts again. Until we can find our answer, I'm willing to go back to the holy mission. Okay. Now we're talking. I'm going to stay with the holy mission. This revelation doesn't change anything. I'm grateful. Okay. Now what? Truth purpose has been updated. Talk to Cardinal whoever the hell in the temple. Can I have your chest? You don't have anything good. Why do you have crap? Not the crap reward. All right, let's go to the temple and talk to what's his face and Mc McGregor guy. Well done. Word of your deeds has reached me, missionary. A lesser person would have resolved that ideological conflict with a force. You, however, used your heart and succeeded. You have done a great deal of good. As Elat commands, we elevate you to the rank of champion. I didn't do shit. In the last name, I both bestow upon you this reward, reward, uh, so that you may become a guiding light for all of REI. May your great deeds grow greater. From now on, you will report to me. Okay. You feel the warmth of campfire fills you. Lad speaks in your mind. Welcome, champion. I'm a champion now. Straight from missionary. Just like that. Wow. Yeah. I see no reason for you to waste your time as a Templar. When the rank of champion suits you better. You are not only a worthy fighter, but one who knows when you can win a conflict without the need of force. Your grasp of the three pillars is strong. Go forth, champion. Or I has need of you. Uh, 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 um, okay. A lot of stuff just happened. Let me. Okay. Candle plate armor. Candle plate boots. That was it? Alright, let's see what else. Uh. Alright, so now we gotta wait three days to talk to Bartholomew guy. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and call it. So I thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Comment down below. I'll always discuss stuff with you. And, uh, if there's any content ideas you have for outward videos, if you guys want to see builds or guides or anything, let me know. And I will try to have a video up as soon as possible. And... I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.